everything is always divine timing. So it's perfect timing. 10, 10 on the time. Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Dr. Smo. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members, as well as the members over on my website and on Patreon. And to those of you all who have entrusted me with your energy for personal readings, and those who have purchased from my team, my candle company, those who have purchased my books. <coughs> Thank you to everyone. 11, 11 on the time. Come through perfect timing. Thank you for all of your support here. Um, yeah, we're about to get into a grandmother message, okay? So this energy, I should have made a documentation of when the reading actually started. I'm going to say that it started around like the 10. So as I was saying... The energy of the salt of the earth and what it really means to be the salt of the earth. What does it mean to be one of the people who puts flavor on earth? Salt can also cleanse. It can sterilize. And it can help purify some things. Salt is used to do a variety of things. And it was like feeling this energy of knowing just how powerful you are even the sense of pink Himal like himalayan salt you can use that with witch hazel and distilled water and essential oil and the salt is the key factor that helps it blend one two three four it's like you getting comfortable with being a key player in something that you're doing or something that you're creating, something that you're manifesting. Your grandmother wants you to act like a key player. Your grandmother wants you to know that you are a key player. She wants you to like literally move like a key player because you are the salt in something. You bring the flavor to something. Hey, Taipu. So I know you were in the other membership, wasn't it? Hey, Poo. Um, you're meant to be the flavor of something. You provide taste. You provide, um, you provide a sense of like, it's not status. It's not structure. It's just this sense of individuality, individuality and energy that can't be gotten from anywhere else. And it's something about you resting in that as a key player. And by you resting in that as a key player, you're going to see different opportunities start to open up for you more and more and more. 3113, that's a mirror. And then you have perseverance. 31 goes down to a four. 13 goes down to a four. Okay. Four is about foundation. So with this perseverance, your grandmother is saying that you need to persevere through something. And it's something about you adding in the piece that makes you stand out as the salt. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about the things that tried to make you feel salty. Okay? Take that salt and create seasoning. Go season the earth. Go season up some food. Go season up some people's life with that same salt that people tried to throw on you. Okay? The thing is, is that you have an energy to you that some people, they get triggered. Okay? They get very triggered. And with them getting triggered, you naturally provoke some type of energy in them, 444, without even trying, okay? So just like an open wound, you put some salt water on that and watch it burn and just it just it just does stuff, right? That's what you are like onto people. And you've been coming across a lot of people who have open wounds. Across people who 
who have unhealed things like they have scabs that they keep pulling off it never heals it never gets better and so when you get into their place when you get into their space when you get around them they're forced to see it they're forced to feel it it burns it burns like a fresh tattoo in the ocean it burns So they may then try to look at you as if you some type of spiritually transmitted disease, but in reality, they have an open wound that they haven't been tending to. And you triggered it. Because salt can also be used to sterilize and clean. What do you do when you have um, your fresh piercings and things, right? People can't be a secret around you. And your grandmother wants you to understand that. She wants you to accept that when you are a part of the salt of the earth, everyone can't take you. Everyone can't take the taste of you. Everyone can't stand you. Everybody don't cook with seasoning. Everybody don't cook with seasoning. So you can't be mad when they don't pick you up to use you. Because the reality is they don't know how anyway. You are a part of the seasoning of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And then... Even in that, there's different types of like seasoning that can be replacements, right? So you may not want to be the actual salt. You want to be just the seasoning salt or you want to be the paprika or you want to be the garlic powder or you want to be the like whatever seasoning you want to be. You are a seasoning. You're not bland. And you're coming to learn that a lot of the earth is bland. And that's why you love grandma's cooking so much. Because grandma knows, grandma knows. Grandma knows what your soul needs. Grandma knows what your spirit needs. Grandma knows your strengths and she speaks to them. Because she knows that if your strengths have, like if you have power spoken into your strength, you're going to start living in it and you're going to believe it. And you're not going to let anything else stop you. Okay? Grandma knows. You're going to keep persevering. You're going to keep persevering. So what type of seasoning are you? What type of experience do you provide? And know that not everyone can have you. Some people are allergic to you this lifetime. Some people are allergic to you this lifetime they can't stand you and they don't know why they can't stand you okay because their mind is so in such a space that they are allergic to your energy so the way that people can be allergic to natural things like grass and shit is that saying that grass is bad no not at all But in this lifetime, it ain't good for that person. So you need to know who you are and what you connect to. Just because they have allergies Don't mean that the pollen can't keep pollinating. Don't mean that the flowers shouldn't keep blooming. They're going to have to do something to fix that. They're going to have to do something to have to work with that. They're going to have to persevere the same way that you have. And someone in here has been trying to be a little too understanding. Some of y'all in here have trying to, been trying to be a little bit too understanding with people that got to learn their own lesson. Okay? 
Stop watering down your seasoning and your flavor because somebody can't take it. If they can't take the spice, go where the, it can be taken. Not everybody can take cayenne pepper, okay? Not everybody can take fresh jalapenos. Not the, not the jalapenos from the stove. Not the deli. The fresh ones. Not everyone can take those. Does that mean you need to stop being it? Huh? Does that mean you need to stop being it? Or does it mean that you need to go where it can be taken? Where it can be understood? Where it can be appreciated? Where it can be embraced? Where it can be loved? Grandma knows, and that's why Grandma loved you for all pieces of you. Grandma saw it before you did. And that's why she always spoke life. That's why she's still speaking life. Because she still knows. She still sees it. She still feels it. Don't water yourself down because somebody can't take you. Okay? They still going to have to pay the same price for your seasoning. And if they want to water it down when they get home, so basically after they get the message, after the interaction, if they want to water it down, what they do with it is what they do with it. But they still going to pay that same price of what the price was to get you off that shelf. But what they do with the energy that has been transferred, with the energy that has been co-created, that's on them. You made them the meal. Some of them, you made them a nice home-cooked meal, and they went and threw it out to the dumpster as soon as they left the house. Because they, oh, I don't want them to try to put a spell on me. They trying to do something to me. They trying to, and you put all love in it, but they have so much hurt and so much fear and so much pain and so much um, fear of rejection. So much, um, what's it called? Nervousness in them that they can't trust. They don't know what to trust. 22, 22 on a the time. They don't know good when they see it. Some people don't know good when they see it. Grandma see it. Grandma see it. And that's why you're still attracted to grandma. That's why your energy still connects to her. And that's why she's still with you. Because she sees it. Not everyone has the eye for it, baby. Not everyone has the eye for it. Not everyone has the heart for it. Some people really do have an ice box there. Some people really do have coal there that has been developed over time through their own experiences. You have the choice on what role you're going to play in their journey. But there is no overcompensating your role for someone else's journey this lifetime. That's one of your lessons that you were here to learn. That's why you keep running into it. That's why it keeps coming up. That's why I keep being a recurring theme for you right now, baby. Stop overcompensating. Your menu is your menu. If they ask you if you can substitute this for this, if you can't, if you got to sit there and pick it out one by one, it's a no. It comes together. Either you're going to order it together or you're going to have to choose something else on the menu. High Priestess. Stop changing your menu so much. The devil in reverse. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Grandma. The Grandma energy coming through, y'all. She coming through. She coming through for you, Pooh. Releasing limiting beliefs. Learning detachment. Everyone didn't love your grandmother. Did you know that? Everyone didn't love her. Everyone didn't like her. There was someone who didn't like her because of how she loved you. Yeah. 
But guess what? She had to learn how to detach from it. She had to learn how to get to a place and say, that's not my problem. She had to get to a place and accept that part of herself of saying, dang, I love you, but I can't be around you. There's nothing you can do and say to stop me from being with my baby. And that's why her energy is still so strong around you right now. She knew the things you would go through. She knew some of the things you were going through and it was only so much that she could do. Which is why she's with you so much now. The song that's on right now is Dance With My Father Again by Luther. My eyelashes are shedding, honey. Ooh. Your grandmother wants you to trust yourself. Trust the confirmations, trust this path that you're on, trust these changes that's been happening. Trust why the energy just has not been right. Trust why it hasn't been right. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to move forward. It's by accepting it, trusting it, releasing it, and moving forward. But you're restoring control over your gifts. Because you were allowing your, yourself to be controlled by others. You unintentionally, unintentionally. It's not like you were just like, here, have my control. Take it. No, I wouldn't like that. It was because you cared so much. And because it was like with that care, you were raised up and that's the limiting belief that you're releasing. You were raised up to overcompensate. You were really you were raised up to bend over backwards. You were raised up to 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 do things for others that you wouldn't even do for yourself. But that ain't happening no more. And your grandma is so proud of you, baby. Because you persevered and got through that. Hey, where my I need some more lip gloss. You persevered and got through that. That's not happening. Rest in it. And know the consequences that come with it. And even with those consequences, it's not your responsibility. Remember, either they're gonna take your seasoning or they're gonna have to bypass it, baby. You know, I noticed here, my local Kroger, back a few months ago, they were always sold out of red pepper. Y'all heard that as soon as I said that? Wow. Confirmation. It was three shots. Three magic um, perception creation, empress energy, life, procreation, creativity. A few months ago, my local Kroger, um, they kept being sold out. Every order that I made for red pepper was sold out, crushed red pepper. And I'm like, why is crushed red pepper like why is everybody buying up all the crushed red pepper? It was a shortage. Something that some people overlook. They don't think about. You don't think of it being a shortage of red pepper. But it's an ingredient that's needed. 
to make it pop. Not, not the pop happen as soon as I said pop. <laughs> these confirmations right now, these confirmations. Someone in here considered themselves to be like pepper, to be like red pepper, crushed red pepper. You know, add that little spicy, that little ting. Yes, protection. Don't let that leave you. Because it's in demand. More people need it than what you realize. The same things that people be criticizing you about, baby, is because they wish they had it. They do it because they wish they had it. So they gaslight you to start feeling bad about it, to get you to stop doing it. so that y'all can now be miserable together. You have to know when someone around you is trying to make you miserable with them. Oh, you too positive. They get mad at you because of how positive you are. You know what I'm saying? Because how dare you be so positive? How dare you tell me what to do to make my life better? How dare you? We came from the same place. How dare you? Who are you? You think you better than me? Whole time, they think you better than them because they know that you know something that they could learn from. They know that you have something that they could benefit from, but the ego is so strong and the lack of ability to open up and see the truth of it is so strong that they miss out on the blessing. It's not your job to force it. It's your job to plant the seed or put a little water there and then get out of there. You got other things to do. You have other places to be, other people to see. Stop staying places that the time has expired on. You've outgrown it. If it's, it's expired, it's not benefiting your higher self, your spirit, your seasoning. It's watering you down. They killing your swag. Okay, 77. I just saw a 77 yesterday on the license plate. And 11, and I just saw 888 too. I've been seeing a lot of the angel numbers I've been seeing lately have been on license plates. And we know cars are portals. They're portals. So whoever's listening to this and feels connected to this message, what is it? It's always some type of random bug. What is that? I ain't even about to try to see. It got red on it or something. But you're currently in a portal where you're headed from one space to another at this time, okay? And this portal that you're in, it's like, it's like a back to the future type of portal. Like you really do not relate to a lot of people anymore that you once used to relate to. You don't relate to a bunch of the people and you, you're trying. Some of y'all are trying to still relate to them. You trying to still be relate relatable. You still trying. You trying to make gumbo with people who don't like flavor. Making gumbo who don't like flavor. Why are you out here making gumbo with people who don't use salt? Who don't like Cajun? It's time to find a new batch of people. 
Okay. Hey, Saturn's daughter and Bettina. I was thinking about you the other day, Jerry. Nice to see you, Pooh. Kool-Aid with no sugar. There you go. There you go. There you go. Stop mixing with people who really don't align with your stuff. You out here making potato salad with raisins. You don't even really... What you, why you out here mixing with people who making potato salad with raisins? Okay? That don't even really go together in your world. So why are you trying to force it to go together? Oh, I can be understanding. I can be open-minded. I can be... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't no open-minded. Ain't no being understanding. Okay? Hey, Warren Pooh. Ain't no none of that, baby. <coughs> Did you see me do that? Did you see me do that? Got these folks out here messing you up, changing your mind. Have a backbone. Child. <laughs> I love grandma energy. Child. All right, grandmother, what else you got for your baby? <clears throat> this portal that you're currently in right now. Same to you, Pooh. This portal that you're currently in. The song is song right now is Stephanie Mills. I feel good all over. You're in a portal of learning what you find as being pleasurable. You're in a portal of learning what you really like, what you really enjoy. You're in a portal of standing on business with what you choose. And it's like you're around people who are different. Let's go back to that gumbo, right? You're around people who like different things, but y'all all have the same common seasoning. Like the mixture that you make, it's like, or you're creating those types of connections. Like It's like you have one group of people with the Miss Robinson here, with the funeral home, you have one group who <clears throat> you got to try hard to keep it going. Do you have another group where it's just like it's flowing? The fact that the devil card came out twice in two different decks and I've only pulled. You get what I'm saying? It's something going on there. That deals with control, obsession, addictions. Um, and then we have the high priestess that came out. And then we have the seven of baskets in the reverse. And then the magician. Okay, what is going on, Grandma? Because now I'm intrigued. Hold on. I'm intrigued. It's the magician. And then the emperor. Wow. 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 If this isn't deading what happened in the past to create your own to move forward and let everyone else deal with the consequences of how they treated you, but it's not your problem. If you know Miss Robinson's story, then you understand <laughs> what I mean by what I just said on, you know, let people be haunted by your energy, by how they did you. <clears throat> let them deny you. Let them deny you, okay? That's what the story was all about. When Peter denied, wasn't it Peter that denied him three times? We just mentioned the number three earlier when it was those three pops, right? Did that make Peter any worse of a person, right? Wasn't it Peter? Y'all can let me know if I'm, when they were in the, when around all the people and they were like, is there anyone who, you know, he was with this man? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about? Someone denying you, but the demons that they're going through on the inside, it's like, <clears throat> it was meant to happen that way. <clears throat> it was meant to happen that way. Okay. 
Peter was seen as being one his right hand man. But Peter was also the one who he told him to step out on the water and walk. And he started to walk and then he got scared and he started to sink. You have people around you who want to be like you and have something, but they keep sinking. Okay. So some betrayals is because that's what that person's natural energy does. Okay. That's their natural energy. They don't have the same backbone as you. And they're going to have internal things that they're going to have to deal with because they're going to be forced to have to see you and watch you. Knowing that they denied you. Knowing that they denied you, like Ms. Robinson, like Peter, like all, knowing that they denied you. They're going to have to watch. And that's how they're going to learn. And guess what? You're going to benefit from it. The song that's on right now is I learn to respect the power of love. The power of love. I've learned to respect. They're going to learn to respect it. Because them demons, that nine of swords is going to be in their head so tough. The seven of baskets coming up in the, because it was in the upright. But once you remove and they're forced to see, they're going to see where their illusions were. They're going to see where their mistakes were. Where they, where they made a problem at. They're going to see it then. They're going to understand it. But you're not going to have that balance benefit until you remove yourself and take control over self. <clears throat> Is something with the knowledge that you've been obtaining and how your subconscious has been shifting. Because, um, you know, the high priestess deals with subconscious. That's why she has that crested moon. Okay. Um, she also represents a divine feminine energy. So it's something about, because I've also been feeling a lot about divine feminine energy. But I feel like that's the next grandmother message that I'm about to do after this one. Um, and I think that's honestly her cue of saying to move to the next message. But it's something about your intuition, your high morals, the way you've been carrying yourself, the way you've been treating other people, like things have been showing itself to you. You need to accept it. It's something about getting your willpower back. And then that goes with the John horse, with the emperor. You're not alone. You just need to be with your tribe. You're not alone. You just need to be with a tribe. Wow, come through confirmation. Alignment. Black Herman was one of the first black magicians. The thing with magic, magic is really science unexplained. That's all it is, is science unexplained. Okay? Science is magic. Master science 
you master magic. That's a whole nother message. Let me, hold on. Magic is just science unexplained. Master science, you master magic. Science of the brain, the mind, human behavior, and the elements and the universal principles, the foundation of life. You're getting in alignment with that. It's something about learning You've been learning a lot lately because all of this on here gives me big boss energy. I'm not going to lie. It's giving someone who's been tapping into deeper esoteric pieces of self and like purifying themselves. You've been purifying yourself. That's beautiful, y'all. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Shout out to the butterflies. Thank you to everyone who's hit the thumbs up on the video so far. If you haven't already and you are connecting with this message, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video. If you are interested in a personal reading, make sure you check out my website at monacole.com. In my membership areas as well okay we're gonna get into the next grandmother message oh last night me and my woman 